Hi, I'm Amber Newberry. Welcome back to Beautiful and Beloved. So glad that you're here. I'm glad that you found your way here. I'm glad that God has a purpose for you being here with us. And um, I'm just excited to share with you today a little bit about meditation. And so if you joined us last week, we did our very first meditation video. It was Alexio Divina Meditation, which is a meditation form that has been around in the church um, since the fourth century. So it's been around for a really long time. And it's just a way that our ancient church fathers really dove into scripture and really just marinated themselves in scripture and prayed through scripture. And so it's a beautiful practice. Um, it's incredibly life-giving and I hope you really enjoyed it. Next month, we're actually going to be doing a practice called Centering Prayer. And then in March, we're going to be doing another practice. I think it's called Ignatius. Ignatius. Oh, man, I can't say that guy's name. I will, I will get it by March, though. I will. And we're gonna, it's kind of a meditation where you imagine yourself in scenarios that are in the Bible and um, with Jesus. And it's really powerful. It's really incredible as well. And then as we go through all these different kinds of meditation, um, my hope for you is that you will discover what kind of meditation is best for you, which kind of meditation works best for you and your circumstances and your life and your soul right now. And then we should get you more guided meditations in that specific genre. And then um, you, so you can have a daily meditation practice because really that's the goal. The goal is a daily meditation practice. And I think you're probably like wondering why. Why would daily meditation be my goal in life? And um, so I'm gonna talk to you about that today. Like why meditation? Meditation um, is seen all through the Bible. King David meditates near constantly. His Psalms begin with in meditation. And um, in his stories, he is just meditating and crying out to the Lord on a regular basis. So meditation has biblical roots. I believe that the Bible is God's invitation to us to live a life um, with him. And so in meditations in the Bible, then meditation is in that invitation to do life with God. And so that's number one, why it's important. Number two, is that meditation actually is really, really good for your brain. It's really good for your brain, and it's actually really, really good for your body. And there's all sorts of science out there that can tell you about why and how and the specifics of that goodness. Um, I am not a scientist, and I feel like if I sit here and try to tell you all of these scientific things, that it will turn into a mess. And so I'm not going to do that, but I am going to link in the notes section to some resources that I have found that have been really helpful to me in explaining the science as to why meditation is so good for your brain and your body. Sitting quiet um, with God for 15 minutes a day rewires your brain. It reworks the way that the pathways in your brain fire incredible. It's incredible the things that I learned about just with a little research. And so if that's something that is super appealing to you and that you would like to know about, definitely check out some of the resources I linked and then do some of your own research because it's really mind-blowing the kind of things that meditation can do really just for your mind alone. Meditation is also really incredibly good for your body. To sit and to take in deep cleansing breaths is something that we as Americans or we as humans just don't do enough. You know, breathe in air and let it fill our bodies before letting it leave. And we don't come to a complete emptying, a complete end of ourselves before we begin our next inhale. And the movement of breath through our bodies as we sit in meditation brings life. It brings freshness. It brings oxygen. It brings blood. It brings all of the good things that are of life into our bodies. 
moving through our bodies, absorbing in our bodies. And it's an incredible feeling when you're done meditating how much energy you have. Um, another reason that meditation is really important is because it's about your relationship with God, right? If you spend a lot of your time in prayer with God, you might have noticed that oftentimes, if you're super intentional about your prayer time, that you spend a lot of prayer time asking God for things. You spend a lot of time, like, you open up your prayer like, God, you are amazing and you're magnificent and I am a humble daughter. I'm a humble servant and I'm just coming before you to ask for all the things right? And they're not even necessarily things for you, but like I have a list of people who like I run through in my head or like a list of people who I've said I would pray for, right? And I'm like, oh, and also for this, for that, and for that, and this, and this, and this. And then at the end of my prayer, I'm like, amen. I prayed for all the people and all the things I needed to pray for. But very rarely have I sat quiet. Very rarely have I allowed myself to listen to what God wants to say to me. It's only when I come to him in desperation, generally, that there's enough quiet for me to hear from God. So meditation is an opportunity for me to sit and be quiet and hear from God in a circumstance when I am not desperate, when I am just sitting and open and ready and willing to hear from him. And that's a gift. Um, and so Meditation, whatever kind you decide to do, is a lot of sitting and a lot of being quiet before God and a lot of listening to what he wants to say to you. And it's hard. And it's hard to do because we are used to always doing something. Our minds are used to always running. And it is um, normal that we have little to no downtime to... Um, sit and process things. So sometimes when you're sitting in meditation, things will come up for you that you have not processed. And so some of meditation can be a little painful, but it can also be really healing. And some things in meditation might come up that you realize you're being held in bondage to. And so freedom, freedom can come from meditation. And God can open your eyes when you're sitting and you're breathing and you're sitting with him, and you are marinating in scripture. God can bring you beauty. He can show you where he has done miraculous, incredible things in your life. And he can show you where things are so beautiful that you have never even noticed before. So, the ultimate goal for Beautiful and Beloved is to help you find healing, chase beauty, and fight for freedom. Meditation does all those things. It brings health and wellness to your body, to your spirit, to your mind, to your soul, to your strength, to your heart. And when we have all of these things working together, when our breath is bringing life, when our spirit is rejoicing in the presence of God, when our mind is focused, on hearing from God, then we cannot help but to be vessels of light and we cannot help but to be full of joy, whatever the day has brought you. So that is why I believe meditation is really important for your daily practice. And I hope that as we go through 2017, it will become something that is easy for you to bring in to your everyday. If you want to check back at the blog at beautifulandbeloved.com, I'll also link it here in the notes. We're going to be talking about um, some tools you need for meditation for it to be successful. We'll also um, be writing about some ways you can make meditation part of your everyday that don't make it feel like an extreme chore. So if you're looking forward to those things, make sure you check our blog. Also next Tuesday, we'll be back here with um, some essential oils that really help deepen a meditation practice. So don't want to miss that either. We'll see you back here. Subscribe to the YouTube channel here if you don't want to miss out on any of our videos. Also, you can go to our website, www.beautifulandbeloved.com, 
and see um, how to subscribe to our newsletter and then you won't miss any of the blog news either. Can't wait to do life with you.